have a quick moment of silence for the ending of the series of videos. <laughs> What could I do that's similar, but maybe a little better? <gasps> I got it. I know what I'm gonna do. Welcome back to our Cage Reactions series. I wanted to personally do something a little bit different this time. Kinda tired of just critiquing cages, and I wanted to look at nice, cages i wanted to look at cages that give me inspiration and will give you guys inspiration for your own hamster cages and while maybe some of these cages all look very similar i personally think they all look completely different but with proper hamster care so i picked a random variety of hamster enclosures i tried to pick kind of different sized enclosures so that it gives everyone a good chance to become inspired, maybe find new ways to improve their enclosures or ways to kind of move around. Cause sometimes, you know, it's hard setting up hamster cages. I'll sit and stare at a hamster cage and have literally no idea how I should set it up. And sometimes it helps to look at other people's setups. So the first enclosure that we're looking at here, it appears to be an aquarium. I'm not quite sure what size it is, I feel like it kind of looks like a 75 gallon, but I could be wrong. I love the color of the different sprays in there. It looks like there's millet and sorghum, and I love the natural look of it. Um, the shavings, which I'm gonna say are probably either hemp, aspen, or spruce, not quite sure, but I love the look of that. I wish I personally could get spruce shavings to try out because it just looks like such a nice soft bedding. Unfortunately, I can't find it anywhere in my province. So it's paper bedding for life, I guess for me. I absolutely love the underground tunnels as well, which looks like they just put some paper bedding in there for like a little nesting, I guess you could say. Overall, I just, I love this. This next enclosure I am obsessed with. I love the natural pops of the greens they used by using um, live plants. It looks like it's probably wheatgrass and I think that might be parsley. I love that idea though and it's something that I might consider doing in my future cage setups. And I actually really love the fact that there is like the sand bath in the middle of the enclosure. I think that's so interesting. Overall, I'm like, I love this enclosure. I, I wanna live in it myself. The next enclosure we're looking at is a living world eco habitat in the medium size. And I really like all of the different like pops of color they've included. Like they have the hideout at the back there with the flowers. They have a really super cute, I wanna say it's a dinosaur ceramic hideout. Um, I also really love the green wheel in there. I think it just, it all looks so cute. It's See, you can do so many different things with your enclosure. And while maybe to some people, all of these enclosures look the same, I personally think they all look different in their own way. They're just doing proper hamster care, but in their own setup. Like to me, they all look different. Next is an enclosure that has a little bit more pop of color. They've got, looks like they've used maybe some Carefresh pink bedding to make a little heart on the side of the enclosure. They have um, grapevine wood and herbs as well as like the dig box thing or the peek away dig box, I wanna call it. Um, they also have a really cute mountain hideout. So this just goes to show like you don't have to just have a natural hamster enclosure. It's okay to use things with color um, or like cartoony looking things. It doesn't all just have to be like bland. So next up we have a bin cage. This is a 200 quart bin with 675 square inches of floor space. And I know there's lots of people out there that have bins that maybe struggle with trying to fit certain things in their enclosure. And I think this is a really good example. This person did a really good job. They've got like different substrates. They've got sprays, um, platforms and hides, levels. 
they've managed to really fit everything in there and I'm sure that the hamster really honestly has a blast in here. Actually, I really like the look of it and I love how they've incorporated so many enrichment things and, and made it work. Next up, this appears to be a DIY enclosure. They've also added a little pop of color with the, I'm gonna say it's blue care fresh. Um, they've got like this really interesting cork log. I love that cork log, the way it like goes like this. And they've got grapevine wood. They, it looks like they have some other little branches in there. I think it's a really, really cute enclosure. Next up, we have an owner that has two hamster cages and I love these. I'm pretty sure these are also DIY enclosures. They're just, I, I love them so much. I love the castle in the one enclosure and then the other like arced hideout type thing that you can still kind of see in. I love the sunflower heads in there. I think it's just so cute and obviously love the depth of bedding. It's just amazing. <laughs> the next enclosure here appears to be a paw hut where they've taken out the levels and maybe even painted it white. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that's what this is, but I actually, I love it. There's so many cute little details in here, like the multi-chamber hut, the openings of it are little hamster heads. That's adorable. And there's even these tiny, 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 tiny little mushrooms on the sand bath. And the grapevine wood, that is an amazing piece. You are so lucky to have gotten your hands on that piece. And then of course, just the other side of the enclosure, they have like a little hedgehog ceramic hide and a cloud hide. I also see they have a Waze V3 camera. Love those cameras. <laughs> Next up, we have a double DTOF, which they've um, attached them side by side. I think that's incredibly creative. I don't think I've actually ever seen anyone else do that side by side. But once you do that, there is definitely a lot more space than a single DTOF. And look at all of the things. There's just, there's so much. And I'm sure the hamster has a blast in here. It looks like there's a lot of, I think that looks like orchard grass hay and herb, sand bath, a cocoa dig box, chamber hide. I, I really like this. Next up, we have a single DTOF, but look at the theme of this DTOF. This just goes to show you can still have themes and provide your hamster with all of the enrichment. Once again, doesn't need to just be all natural colors and things. This is like a wonderland cage. There's a little teacup here that appears to be filled with either sunflower petals or calendula petals. That's so cute. There's like little cards on the outside of the enclosure for decoration and little pops of different colored bedding. And then on the side with the wheel, they have like a sand bath and there's little um, butterflies and mushroom, wooden mushrooms so cute i i like love seeing themed cages with like proper care it's always really interesting to see what people do here's a more natural colored enclosure they've got all of the wood they've got like the white clear wheel i actually love that wheel it's great if you want to have a natural enclosure but if you have a wheel pier definitely really helpful because i know a lot of hamsters pee in their wheel and if you have a wooden wheel it just it makes life a little bit harder um so the clear wheel works amazing also i see the ikea like baskets and that reminds me i should buy more of those because mine have all been destroyed but those baskets are amazing for just like putting different substrates in there and then your hamster can also just chew them at the same time as well they're perfectly safe and last but not least we have a homemade enclosure that is a perfect square um, i'm absolutely in love with this sand bath i wish i could make my own sand bath, bath like these i love like the wavy ones with the little i don't know what those things are called but um i wish i could make my own <laughs> but i love this i love like there's like little sections of different like herbs on the ground like there's corn flower i see there and then there's like leaves and then there's some moss um, and I think those are like rose petals inside of that little house. Also the roadie pet ceramic hide thing. That is adorable. I, that's so cute. <laughs> 
So that is just a small chunk of enclosures that I thought were really inspiring for myself, as well as probably for you guys setting up your hamsters enclosures. And if you wanna see more awesome hamster enclosures, make sure to check out the hashtag, hashtag cage inspirations. I'm sure you're gonna find something that inspires you along the way. So that is it for today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.